Hi everybody, today I will show you how can we create the WooCommerce shop page with Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, to create the WooCommerce shop page with Elementor, all you need to do is to go inside the plugin. Now we have to click on the add new plugin. So from here we have to install a two plugins that are must. The first one is the Elementor. Okay, so you have to install the Elementor and along with the Elementor, you also have to install the essential add-ons for the Elementor. Alright, so one thing that I have to mention here that I'm using the Astro theme and I'm using the template from the starter template. So if you want to use the starter template, all you need to do is to write down the starter template and you have to install the starter templates. So you can simply pick the template from here of your choice. Alright, so if you don't know how can we use the starter template, that is really easy. You have to go inside the appearance and in the appearance you can see the starter template. So let's click here. And from here you can simply pick any template whichever you want. But the template that we have used in our website is actually the mountain. This one as you can see here, the mountain template. So if you want to use this, you can simply use it. If you want to use any other template, you can simply choose it from here. Alright, so now let's just go back. Okay, so the one thing that we need to do here is to go inside the essential add-ons. And from here, let's just click on the elements. And as you can see in the elements, we have to scroll down. And now you can see here the WooCommerce elements. So from here, we have to enable the WooCommerce element that are free to use. So we have enabled the product grid and you can also enable the other elements that you want to use. Okay, but right now I just only want to use the product grid. So now what we need to do, I'll simply go inside the pages. Now I will simply click on the add new. Okay, so let's just write down the title of the page. That would be the products. All right, so now let's just click on the edit with Elementor. Alright, so now let's just start creating our show page here. So let's click on the add section here and click on the single column structure. Okay, so it would be actually the full width. And now what I need to do, I have to add the heading here. So the heading would be products. I just put this to the center. And now what I need to do, I have to change the color into the white. Alright, so now let's just click on the edit section and click on the style. And from here, I have to add the background image. So let's click here. And let's just pick this image. Click on the slack. And we have added the background image here into our heading. So let's just change the position to the center. Display size would be over. Alright, so now what we need to do here. Let's just click on the layout. I have to change the value of the min width. So this is looking fine. Now I have to place the heading into the center. So let's click on here. Now you can see this, we have our heading into the center. Okay, so let's just go inside the styles here. And from here, let's just click on the background overlay. So we have to add the color here. So that would be the dark color. Now you can see this, this is looking fine. So now we have to increase the font size of our heading. All right, so let's click on the typography. And from here, we can increase the heading. I think I would go with the 70 here. This is looking fine. Alright, so now what we need to do, we have to add the new section or the container. Let's just click on the single column structure. So now what we need to do, let's just click here. And from here, you have to search for the product grid. Okay, as you can see the product grid here. So let's drag this and put this here. And it will simply show us all the products that we have in our WooCommerce. So we have to change the layout to the grid. And you can also change the style preset you can see here. We have the different style presets here, so you can simply change the value from here. You can change the number of the columns. So if you want to go with the three column structure, you can go with this. If you want to go with the two column structure, this is how we can do this. And if you want to go with the five column structure, this is how we can do this. But right now, I'll simply go with the three column structure. And if you want to show the badge of the sales or out of the stock, you can simply enable this. Otherwise, you can disable the value here. And after that, we have the product settings. And the product settings, you can filter the product. And you can order the products by the date, product ID, product title, and etc. And we can also put this in ascending order or the descending order. So let's just increase the products count here. So I will have to go with the six counts. Okay, so now we'd have the six products on our product grid. All right, so as you can see here, this is how it works. And you can also play around the other settings here, as you can see here. So after that, we have the sale or the stock out page. And after that, we have add to cart. So if you want to add the custom text and add to cart, you can simply enable the value here. And from here, you can add the custom text. So let's enable this. And from here, as you can see here, we can simply add the custom text if you want to add. 
okay so let's just disable the value here okay so we also have the load more option here so if you want to show the load more button you can simply enable this but before that i have to decrease the value of product counts so that would be four okay so now let's just close this and click on the load more enable the value here now you will be able to see the load move button okay so this is how it works and you can also customize all of the options here so you can customize the products you can customize the button style you can customize the sale page style and you can also customize the load move button so let's just customize the load move button here so i would like to have a different color okay so i would like to go with this color okay so this is how you can customize the other options here as well okay so now what we need to do let's just click on the publish and let's just have a look at our show page okay so this is how our show page is looking with the elementor so i have to add the spacing here so let's just go back and click on the edit container here click on the advance so we have to add the margin here at the top only okay so the margin would be 60 at the top so now let's click on the update and let's just go back to our shop page now you can see here now what we need to do we have to click on the refresh now you will be able to see the spacing here so this is how you can create the woocommerce show page in elementor okay so let me show you the default show page you can see here this is the default show page and this is the show page that we have created so how can we redirect the user to the new show page that is really easy first of all we have to go inside the dashboard and we have to go inside the plugin click on the add new and now we have to search for redirection here now you can see that redirection here by the john goldie so let's click on install click on the activate so now what we need to do we have to go inside the redirection plugin so let's just go inside the redirection here okay so now let's just click on the add new and we have to add the source url so that is actually the default show page so let's just copy this paste the url and after that we have to add the target url so as we know the target url is the url of the show page that we have created so let's copy this and let's just paste this here okay so we have added the redirection okay so if i just click on the shop url you will be able to see that our shop url is redirected to the products url all right so this is how we can redirect from our old shop page to the new shop page so this is how we can create the woocommerce shop page in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel